Here, what's that? Sounds like a slow puncture. There it is again. It was me making that noise. Oh, so you're the one with a slow puncture, bruv. Have you got them, Mr. Wilton? I forgot what, bruv? The tickets, the tickets, the tickets. Yes, I have, yes, I have, yes, I have. And I trust you have secreted them in a suitably secure sanctuary. Hey, did you put them somewhere safe? Oh, don't you worry, bruv. They're safe as houses. Oh, so they're in your wallet? No, they're under me hat. Did you know you're next to an idiot? As a matter of fact, I didn't. But thanks for the warning. Yeah, listen, I've had a word with the governor. No! The governor? Yes, and from now on, we're incognito. And here's me, think we were in London. You are in London. Incognito means we're sort of, uh, in disguise. Well, that's not much of a disguise, is it? I recognise you straight away. Well, something you and me both recognise is a chance to make a few bob. And according to the governor, we're onto something here that could prove to be very lucrative indeed. Does that mean we're going to be rich, bruv? Rich beyond the dreams of avarice, Mr. Wilton. Will you stop calling me bruv? From now on, my name is Thomas. Mr. Thomas, got that? Uh, yes, bruv. From now on, you're Mr. Thomas Thomas. That'll do. Now, let's synchronise watches. <clears throat> Mine says 10.15. Well, that's odd. Mine says 11.15. What does it say on the station clock? Made in Woking. Yes. <laughs> well, what's the time? Still 10.15. Look, forget the watches. Our orders are to wait for further instructions. Now, pull your hat down. Oh, yes, bruv. After all, we don't want to look like a pair of cheap crooks, do we? As you say, Mr. Wilton, as you say. Now, come on. we got a trainer catch. <laughs> did you just see what I just seen, Mr. Thomas? I did indeed, Mr. Wilton. Very peculiar goings-on indeed. Horrible meddling kids. They make my flesh creep. Never mind your creeping flesh. What about that dirty old piece of paper they was all looking at? Gold. Oh, probably some sort of secret message, I shouldn't wonder. Gold, Mr. Wilton. Smuggler's gold. Hidden treasure lost for generations. We'd better get back and inform the governor about this pretty quick. Uh, not so fast, Mr. Wilton. I mean, <laughs> no point in blabbing to the old world about it now, is there? But, bro, I mean, just think of how rich we'd be. The two of us and all that lovely gold. I see what you mean, bro. How very astute you are, Mr. Wilton. 50-50 and all that. Eh, Mr. Thomas? Absolutely, Mr. Wilton. What's yours is mine, what's mine's my own. Sounds fair enough to me, bruv. Then it's a deal? Done.